Good morning. We're in Vanuatu. Um, we're at Mystery Island. It's a very small island, so it's a kilometer square meters and it takes 45 minutes to walk around the entire island. Now, you can see I'm wearing a jumper and it's very windy. Uh, we are about an hour later than what we expected, no more than that, in landing. So people meant to start getting off the boat at eight o'clock and it's closer to nine o'clock. Uh, it's just so windy that they couldn't like anchor the boat anywhere and so they did a few things like over the speaker saying that maybe they're going to cancel today but we have made it so yes so we're gonna get off yeah. and we're going to go for 45 minute walk i guess 45 no one no we're going swimming and tanning so this is the island that we are going to today it is not very big at all but look at the reef off it can you see the roof where the waves are breaking? So this is where we're going. You can probably hear the wind and you can't hear me. So we made it to Mystery Island. It took literally two hours from I think we got off the boat on Mystery Island at quarter past ten. Um, obviously, it is so windy still, but we are still. They said that the last ten of boat is leaving. Oh, it just. Oh, my son is saying that there's pirates. So we have just been sitting on the beach in the sun. I've been reading my book. It's been lovely for like a year and a half. Carlos has made this garden. Pirate. Where do you want your treasure? Pirate. Give it to me. They went and got right treasure. <laughs> Following this little track around the island, and we've just come round. You can oh. Yeah, you can see the boat. We're just coming around anti-clockwise and it is so much less windy on this side. We should have set up camp here. What's up is down, what's left is right. Okay, there is a hut here and they're selling snorkeling gear and um, clear kayaks as well. Heaps of people just went out on them. It is turning out to be such a beautiful day cut back in up onto the walking track because it is so windy on the opposite side of the island. I've been working for 22 minutes. I have stopped a few times, but uh, yeah, that is way too windy. The sand's like literally in my ear now. Oh my God, that is, yeah. <laughs> it was just like coming at me when I was trying to take videos and take pictures. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. There's not many people walking on this side of the island. Probably because I'm getting blown away. On this side of the island you can hire there's like beach chairs, like plastic beach chairs and like um, sun shells on the type of thing. I don't know how much that costs to hire though or where you do that. Okay, on my walk I just found the Mystery Island Tiki Bar where they are serving alcohol and I don't know what else. I don't know, that lady looks like she just had a cruiser, but I've seen some people have some beers as well and I don't know, a plate of rice, maybe fish. Okay, everywhere on the island there's hair braiding signs and it starts from like $10 to $15. There is an entire row, oh, like there's more on that side as well, maybe you can't see them, but there is an entire row of like shops here selling knickknacks and they're taking AUD and everything. Okay, massage hut over here. There's 20 minutes for $20, I think. $25 for shoulder, neck, head, and face. Then there are people taking pictures over here with this guy, and it's called like Mystery Island Cannibal Soup. And then you can make bookings over here. There are some people over here just like singing and dancing. Possibly most notable about this entire island where people are just kicking a soccer ball around is that uh, there's an airport here, Mystery Island Airport. So, um, I don't know, I guess supplies have to get here somehow, but they're selling here, and that's how. So I've never been here before, 
which means I didn't know, but there is a school supply station and there are so many people donating like books and pens. So remember to do that. And that is the entry off the boat, which has taken me 38 minutes, including stopping to take videos and pictures. back on the boat after we got the tender boat back and it was actually a great day. Really We're all really bad. Really really CW is. <laughs> um, we are just looking, there's the last tender boats over there. So it's like four o'clock. Oh. Of the three days that we had, oh. Three days today was personally my favourite. This is what Isabel bought from the island. She has so many hanging up things from like around the world. That is what she wanted from Vanuatu. So, and we have also we have emptied the bags. We had so much sand. We bought so much sand back with us, but that is it. We now have three sea days back to Sydney, uh, and I will I definitely do a video a room tour and also the food as well because I personally couldn't find anything online about the food before we came and I guess that's the most important thing when it's like all inclusive so stay tuned for that